hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you've not subscribed to this channel please do that because we have a lot in stock for you a lot of goodies and then if you've been struggling on how to get a very good crepsy and flaky fish pie and fish roll then yeah welcome to this channel this video is a tutorial video a step-to-step -step video on how to do fish roll and fish pie and then if you're into this business then this video is for you watch this video from beginning to the end and you won't regret it everything is step by step and you will like this particular recipe so in our today's video i'll be showing us how to prepare fish pie I mean, to make up this rice to be a very good one. I'll be showing you how to do this. I'll start by washing my fish. So, I'll wash it again the second time. Then after that, I'll have to debone the fish like this. You have to do this to all of them till you're done, except the head. Then once you get to this part, all you have to do is to try as much as you can to get rid of these bones. As you can see. So I'm done. I'm done doing that because it's this is the head of the fish. I'm not use this. I'll just take it aside. I can use it to cook anything, maybe a bowl of rice or anything, but I will use it for the fish pie. So once we are done with this, the next thing we are going to prepare is our onion and then um, other vegetables to use for it. Here I'll be using two bobs of onion to prepare this sauce. I'll start by chopping it. Here, I'll dry my pots first before putting my oil so it won't splash. And the next thing I'll be adding is my one tablespoon of salt and then my onion, my chopped onions. Here, most persons put their fish first before putting their, their onion. But I had to use onion first because I needed the temperature of the oil to be calm before putting the fish so it won't so the fish won't stick to the pots the reason i'm using a lot of onion because one onion is actually good in terms of cooking food and for health and secondly it helps in suppressing some fresh food smell so like that, fish Then the sachet of curry, I'll use all. Then pine, but I won't use all of this kind. This is a lot. And then for my seasoning, I have chicken seasoning. Chicken no. I have two cubes here, but I'll use three. You know, each cube has two in it. So I'm going to use three of it instead of the four. And then you stir. 
always remember to stir. You have to heat it this way to pieces the fish. Some persons pieces it before frying. Some persons fry the fish first before making the sauce. But I like doing it at home. I'm using one and a half cooking spoon of fresh pepper. When making fish roux sauce or fish pie sauce, you can use potatoes. I didn't use potatoes because it was a special order. You can also use carrots, green pepper, and then spring onion. I used only carrot because there was no time to get other things. The order was actually emergency. Now, if you're using only fish, don't forget that your price will not be the same with when you're using potatoes to prepare it. So, and again, you also have to look out for your environment. You can only use, except maybe for home consumption, maybe you want to make it special. But if it's for commercial and you know where your location is, your location is not other friendly with price of things, then you have to slash down in things that you're using to produce your snacks in order not to be at loss. Now, I'm going to use water because of the carrots. I want the carrots to cook. So this is the quantity of what the quantity of what I'm going to use. I'll cover my pot and allow it to boil for some right. minutes. To cook. Let's check what we have here. Okay. Just have to let it cook because of the carrots. Now, if you want to have a very nice sauce, like the flavor and the taste. Just use chicken seasoning and then for the flavor use um, green pepper this will give you you know that special taste you know and the flavor and then spring onion have to just work it up I have so I use two whole fish to prepare the sauce it contains quick now this is what we're going to use to the pot ready you see we'll do this. in my bowl I'll see 500 gram of flour your bowl should be dried your sieve should be dried your working surface should be dried. Your rolling pin should be dried. And this my recipe is for a very crispy and flaky fish pie and fish roux, even for meat pie. So if you have been struggling on how to have that crispy fish roux, then you're welcome to this channel. After sieving my flour, I'll use 250 gram of butter five 250 gram of butter to 500 gram of flour then you yeah, then you start mixing to have that bread like crumbs then now after mixing i'm supposed to use one cup of water but i used half that is because some flours are different some flours are weighty some are very light and your water has to be a very cold water, like ice water from the fridge for this mixture. Now, when mixing, you don't need, you don't need meat pie dough. You don't need fish, fish dough and fish, um, fish roll dough and fish pie dough. That, that is remaining, that is remaining water that I use. Like I didn't use all the water. I use half of it. And when mixing, make sure that your dough is very smooth. Now I have to dust my surface. When your dough is smooth, when your dough is well mixed, this is how smooth it will be. When you roll, it won't stick to your surface, it won't stick to your rolling pin, it won't even stick to your hands. It will just be smooth. Your dough should be like this when mixing. If you don't have, if your dough is not like this, then it didn't mix properly. Either your, there is a shortage, maybe your water was excess, 
try as much as you can let your water don't be excess and your mixture your water use your water bit by bit with this fish uh, with this fish roll sauce you can use it to produce anything fish bread anything you want to produce with it you can use this sauce to produce anything and each of these fish pie is 350 now the price depends on your location you can use this price this um, recipe to produce snacks that you sell at 50 naira 100 naira 150 you'll be at loss if you are making if you are producing fish pie with this quarter it should be 350 to 500 depending on your location you know location to matters in business but if you know your location is not that good except maybe it's home for home consumption then you can use it but if you are in a location that is not all that friendly with price please don't use this recipe or you reduce your hand in your ingredients now we are in the we are in fish roll process your dough should be as smooth as this Your fish roll should not exceed. Should your fish roll should not be below two hundred naira. Instead, let it be above. With this recipe, your fish roll, no matter the size, your fish roll should not be below two hundred naira. now when after rolling one side was bigger than one side so i had to turn it and concentrate on the side that is a bit bigger so both sides will be equal now i have to cut out the excess when cutting you have to check if both sides are equal before cutting in between so one side won't be bigger than one side Try this recipe and drop a comment. During my dough mixture, I didn't use salt, I didn't use baking powder, just three things water, flour, and butter. Then I had to use one of the ones I cut out to merge with the other with the next one to, to make sure that everything is equal in size so no one will be bigger than anyone and this is the last one I'm rolling. The body of your snack should be as smooth as this. If it's not as smooth as this then your mixture was not right. Then butter your pan and then line them up for baking make sure you don't apply egg until you're ready to bake before you egg wash before you egg wash your products make sure you're ready to bake so they don't smell after baking because after sometimes when you finish baking the egg smell comes out if you try this recipe exactly how it is you will have a very flaky and crispy fish pie and fish roll now after baking apply butter on the body while it's still very hot to give it that glowing skin once your snack is very tasty no matter the price once a customer eats one 
no matter the price they are ready to finish all <laughs> i know what i'm saying just try this recipe Thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up share this video i mean share this video to whom it may consign i'll drop the recipe at the description box so go there and check it out